Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this first CAM Connection. With CAM Connection we aim to provide you with regulatory news in between CAMCOM conferences. News flashes that we expect sparks your interest. The first news flash is the date of CAMCOM the Americas, which is scheduled for the first week of March. Later in this CAM Connection we look into the developments in Asia, but first we will connect with Mercedes Vinas from the European Chemical Agency. Hi Mercedes, do you have any spring updates from Helsinki? Well, hello, Tiert. Well, here in ECA for us, one of the most important topics at the moment is the concerns that have been expressed by some stakeholders about the lack of compliance in the information we get from industry via the registration dossiers. We fully share these concerns. We have mentioned this repeatedly in our evaluation reports that we publish every year, and they have even been confirmed by the Commission in the recent uh, REACH refit. We really take this very seriously and we have put the generation of data and the compliance at the core of our strategy for 2019 to 2023. So we, this will be uh, for sure the focus of our work in the coming months and years. Compliance is key. So I wish you and all other stakeholders success in achieving this. Any other hot topics in Europe? Actually, yes, uh, we're very excited that we are about to uh, launch the ECA submission portal for poison center notifications. This is going to happen very soon on the 24th of April. Uh, this portal will allow uh, companies to notify information on their hazardous mixtures they place on the market in a harmonized way to different member states. But it will not only help companies to fulfill their notification obligations, we hope it also helps member states to provide a service uh, for uh, poison centers. I don't know if you know, but poison centers centers across Europe, they reply to hundreds of thousands of calls every year and in many of them they have difficulties to identify the product information that they need to reply to these phone calls. So we really hope that our portal will facilitate this work and eventually save lives. That is indeed important. Great to learn that the portal will open soon. Thank you very much for your contribution. From Helsinki, let's move to Shanghai to ask Alex Lee from Lanxess for his views on key developments in Asia. Hi, teacher. Thank you for inviting me to report our Asian developments. First, I'd like to share with you the expected revision of Chinese new chemical substance notification. October 2017, Chinese has already published the reduced data requirement. However, since then, Chinese authority has also been working toward the more streamlined version of Order 7. The revision will focus on the management process this time. For example, Polymer exemption notification might now need to wait for ministry's certificate anymore. The registration would only apply to the new chemical substances that are manufactured or imported above one metric ton per year. A draft version is expected to be published the first half of this year. Good to learn that the process will be simplified, but that the compliance bar will not be lowered. The second issue I'd like to discuss are the challenges for companies facing in the current carriage pre-registration. Unlike EU-rich, classification and label information is also required for carriage pre-registration. And unlike previous annual reporting, foreign manufacturers are not able to supply business confidential to authorities directly anymore. Uh, so we can imagine the impact of all industry is quite huge. Foreign manufacturers need to work with local importers to collect business information for their OR coverage. OR appointment has to be applied by by one. Thank you, Alex. I'm sure we will learn more on the developments in Korea and China during ChemCon Asia 2019. In Seoul, you will have the opportunity to personally meet many authorities from all over Asia. Together with industry experts, they will provide both the legal framework as well as hands-on implementation experiences of chemical control legislation around the world. In addition to our conference program, you can attend a workshop on K-REACH pre-registration, a seminar on global notification and a seminar on secrets in the supply chain. As always, can provide you in one week with a lot of information, knowledge and experiences that will help you in achieving your global compliance goals. And on top of that, CAMCON offers excellent networking opportunities. Thank you for watching and looking forward to seeing you in Seoul.